Are there any long-term concerns I should be aware of if I decide to take magnesium and melatonin regularly? Well, 100%, I never recommend taking anything long-term. So this information here that I'm sharing should not be taken as my endorsement that you should just begin taking magnesium and melatonin and even potentially adding in B vitamins long-term without taking breaks. When you start supplementing with melatonin, you are disturbing your hormone production. Taking melatonin is going to essentially trigger to your brain that it doesn't have to make it naturally, which sounds like it's going to create a dependency, right? So then if you ever try to wean yourself from it, you've really got an uphill battle. So just say no. Anything related to disturbing your hormones should be really just done on a short-term basis. We're supplementing only when we absolutely need to, and that otherwise, if you feel like you really want to or need to supplement with minerals regularly, then you want to use a mineral complex that is a really high quality mineral complex. Again, I don't recommend that you take it all the time. And if you decide to take a mineral complex, you want to use several different companies and rotate the companies so that you're getting a different sort of microbiome in that mineral complex because every company is going to source their ingredients from a different place. And as a reminder, just know that symptom suppression is not going to get you where you want to go if your goal is optimal health. And so we really don't want to use any of this to suppress symptoms if we really believe that we've just got a short-term problem. It's totally acceptable to just supplement with something short term and that typically is a day or two or three if you feel like you have really created some sort of issue and you need to supplement again for several weeks when i create a protocol for people that i work with we typically take some combination of things for several weeks three to four weeks and then we take a period of time off and I go periods of time where I really take no supplements for weeks at a time. And, you know, for somebody who really works with supplements, if I felt like I wanted to take something long term, it would be very easy for me to do that. But I just say no and so should you.